Um, okay, so um, hello everyone. Um, we we made a video earlier about how you can download and then download your trust wallet, create it, set it up, and then receive and then transfer your assets from there. So here we're gonna do um for token pocket users is is almost the same, but there is there is a little difference when you're working with token pocket. So I'm gonna be showing you how you can download your token pocket wallet set it up and then how you can also receive and transfer assets from your token pocket wallet so um the same way i did it before i'm using an iphone so i'm gonna go to my app store so here i'm about to, so i now type on token pocket okay so the, the, here are the pop-up so you just up on this one token pockets so uh pay pay attention to the logo here token pocket crypto and bitcoin secure crypto and web3 wallet so this is the one that i'll be downloading here so i click on the download um arrow so um is is the same is the same uh step when you're using an android phone so you what you just need to do is you go to your google play store you type in the search bar you type token pockets now look at the logo make sure that the logo actually is the same with the logo you are seeing here tp so then you click on install then you download it so i'm actually downloading this one um talking pocket um i think uh one of the features i like i like more about um talking pockets is the is the dab feature that you can always use it to connect to some dabs that is decentralized apps and then um, makes it easier you know is it 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 flows well for me better than a uh, trust wallet when doing that just like metamask but sometimes metamask is always lagging so i prefer to use token pocket when i'm doing all those um dap connect uh, decentralized app connections and all that so yep i think that's just it aside from that they're basically the same it's just that there are some advanced features in token pocket that i actually like okay so i'm done downloading this token pocket wallet so i'm going to click on open okay so allow we like to send you notification allow okay so now there these are the two options here you have i already have a wallet i don't have a wallet so since i'm doing this for the first time here i'm opening my token pocket for the first time here so i'm going to click on this second one i don't have a wallet so let's create a new one so you are required to enter a password. Make sure you choose a password that you can always remember. That way you can always log back into your account. So to make sure that you actually know the password you used, you, you will be required to type it once again for confirmation purposes. So after typing, then you tap the, you tick the box for I have read and agree terms of service i want to open face id payment so i tap this button here and then i click on confirm payment uh, confirm click on allow so now um uh you can see so these three up here hd wallet multi-sig wallet hardware wallets uh you select any of them if you're actually gonna work if you're if you want to work with um multi-chain wallet that is the wallet that actually allows for different networks chains and all that if you're going to set up a, a wallet for different chains like ethereum bitcoin solana polygon and the rest of them so you check but then this one below you can see single network so you can choose if you want to work with just bnb here bnb chain here you can choose any of them. if you want to work with bnb ethereum you can choose any of them but for the purpose of this course i'm going to be choosing a um, I'm, I want to work with different chains, so I'm going to be choosing HD wallet here. So here, I'm required to enter, enter a name as a name my wallet. So I'm going to name my wallet coming soon, just like I did with Trust Wallet. So coming soon is the name is the name I've chosen for my wallet. You can choose any name of your choice. You can even name it your name. So now I tick this box to show that I have actually agreed to the terms and. Uh, conditions so next i click on next okay so this is the important part this is where you get your recovery freeze um 
token pocket calls it recovery free so this is where you get it now look at the instructions that they have up there backup recovery phase keep it, keep your wallet safe so i think they also um they also made it clear here that your secret phrase your recovery phrase is actually very important you need to keep it safe because once someone has access to it the person can literally like steal everything in your wallet the person can take anything the person wants in your wallet so you better keep it safe so they also they also suggested some backup method that you can actually use to save your recovery phrase using a pen and paper to write it down and then keep it in a very safe place or you can secure it uh, with sweet back off with their key power card or you make sure that you keep your secret phrase in a safe place so um let's create our secret phrase here this is i'm gonna tap this box here create recovery phrase so I click on it. So um, backup recovery phrase. Just make sure to write down your recovery phrase accurately and keep it in a safe place. Never take screenshots or store it online to avoid the risk of leakage. So um, we're going to write it down using a pen and a paper. And then we're going to make sure that we keep it safe. So I'm going to tap this this uh, this circle here to review my secret, uh, to my recovery phrase. So first of all let me copy it so you tap this three box and then you confirm copy then you tap this circle at the middle to reveal your secret phrase tap so this is my secret phrase here so um when you're actually copying make sure you copy it you can see number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve there are twelve and each word is in small letter so when you're writing it out with your pen and paper make sure that you are writing it in the order that they appear and then make sure that everything is in small letter because if if you miss anything here even if you misplace the order that these words appear it will not be accepted when you enter it so um so after saving it so i'm done saving my recovery phrase next is to check the now they want to check that i've actually um copied this and kept it safe copied it in order make sure everything is so to check i click on this check back up here so i click on it so now it's time for me now they have scattered this word arrangement that is this recovery phrase they have scattered the order that it appears so I, I will now need to like arrange them here put the number one word where it's it ought to be number two number three just like that so this is what i'm gonna do now to assess my wallet so they make sure that i actually uh, kept record of my secret recovery phrase so number one i'm going to put the right word for the number one word then number two i'm going to put the right word number three i'm going to put the right word number four i'm going to put the right word number five same thing um sort ladder in those um team hash scheme bid place so let's see if i'm right okay so i'm right and then so these are the different networks um like you all know there are like hundreds of network out there there is bitcoin chain there is ethereum chain bnb chain tron solana polygon arbitrum all of them plenty of them like plenty chains avalanche you know plenty chains out there now with chains what chains means is these chains are they are like networks other projects you know can actually utilize the technology of those chains to build their own projects on it so so now for us we are building on the bnb network on the bnb chain network so it means that every transaction that we're going to perform if you're trying to buy our coin if you're trying to send our coin from your wallet to another wallet you're going to your transaction fee is going to be paid with bnb coin because we are building a bnb network so now i'm gonna select a few chains here that i think maybe i'll be needing in the future even though for now we're going to be using bnb chain. so i'm going to select um bitcoin ethereum bnb chain solana polygon and uh maybe avalanche i can come back later and add other chains you know so i click on continue so these are those chains that i've actually selected bitcoin ethereum binance solana and all the rest so now i click on confirm so um so the one that actually appeared first is bitcoin of course is the mother of all chains 
so now for me to see the bnb chain that i've added also i click on this three three line up which is the menu the menu option i click on it so when i click on it um you can see all the chains that you chose now if you want to add more chains you click this plus sign below you click on it then you choose other chains to add depending on what you want to work with so i want to for now we're working with bnb chain so that is what i'm going to click so the first one here is bitcoin the second one here is ethereum you can see it then the third one here is bnb chain so we're working with bnb chain so i'm gonna click on it okay so yep we are inside so this is my bnb um this is bnb chain inside my token wallet here so it has automatically added the bnb coin for me usdt on bnb chain for me usdc on bnb chain for me so everything here is on bnb chain every transaction i'm gonna make here is on bnb chain so um also remember for your wallet every chain every ch if you're making a transfer that is on bnb chain you will be, need to pay transaction fees on bnb chain with bnb coin so that is why it is important that you have bnb coin inside your either your token pocket trust wallet safe power whichever one you're using okay so now if i want to receive if you want to transfer if you want to transfer um bnb coin from your bitgate from your trust wallet metamax binance exchange bybit exchange kucoin if you want to transfer it into this your token pocket wallet now you have to choose you have to click on bnb here understood you have to click on bnb and then you click on receive you can see send you can see receive so you click on receive here so this is your wallet this this is your wallet address this is your wallet address here so this is what you'll be copying to um paste inside the box that you're actually um sending the bnb coin to so that you can receive it inside this your token pocket wallet so this is what you will copy you click on copy confirm that you know what you're copying so you go and paste it in the box where they request for you to paste your wallet address to withdraw to so after you've sent it you will now uh, receive whatever you sent into your bnb uh into this your token pocket wallet address so um so that is it for receiving you just copy then go back to where you're sending from paste the wallet address make sure that you also choose bnb smart chain network that over there while sending so that it will get to this particular wallet so um this is that is it for for receiving now if you want to send out like let's say that you have you have bnb coin inside this token pocket wallet so and you want to send it to another wallet maybe to your trust wallet to your uh, binance account to your bybit account to your bitget account you want to transfer from here to those accounts to any of those accounts so you copy that address from your bitgate trust wallet or binance or wherever you copy it make sure that you're copying bnb network own which normally should start with zero x zero and x so you copy it and then you come back here you click on bnb then you click on send earlier we clicked on receive because we want to receive into this one so here because you want to send out from here you click on send so when you click on send, then you're expected to paste the wallet you copied from the wallet that you want to receive this BNB coin from. So if you copy, if you want to receive it from your, uh, if you want to receive with your Bitgate account or your Binance account or your Bybit account, you copy your wallet address, make sure that it's BNB network over there. You copy it and then you come here, you paste it. Remember, it usually starts with 0x. So you paste it, you paste, you paste the long string of numbers. So just paste it, make sure that you copy it correctly. Then you paste, after pasting, the next thing for you to do is to come here. They said you haven't sent, okay. Okay, so um, you copy, then you enter the amount of BNB that you want to send out. If it's 1 BNB, 2 BNB, 3 BNB, or 4 BNB, or any 5 BNB, or any amount you want to send, you can see, you always see the equivalent the equivalent of that bnb that you want to send in dollar here so make sure that what you're sending is equivalent to what you have in your account or less than what you have in your, in your account don't 
uh, enter an amount that is higher than what the total BNB you have in your wallet. So after entering the amount that you want to send, um, next is make sure that okay now look at this is the transaction fee that you're expected to that they're going yeah, that you're going to be charged in bnb for sending this for sending this coin to another wallet using token pocket and b uh, and bnb chain so this is the transaction this is the estimated fee that you're going to be charged 0 0.002 which is less than a dollar and then so this things this thing is another now next thing is for you to confirm so of course it's it should invalid wallet because the wallet i pasted here isn't correct so um you when you click on confirm you see the steps to then you will click on proceed that you send and then you will send it and then you will receive the coin the bnb coin that you sent to that wallet you will see it inside the wallet that you pasted here so if, if the wallet you pasted here is from your bitgate account binance or wherever it is from you go back there and then check to see that if you have received your bnb coin so that is how it is for sending for receiving and sending with token pocket so um since we're working with a coin that is not our coin hasn't launched yet and it's going to be a new coin so most coins that you can automatically add inside these wallets like when you most coins that you can automatically just tick tick a box to have them added inside your wallet uh mostly popular coins that have been there you know that are already listed on token pocket or on coin market cap or on um, coin gecko and the rest of them so now since we're working with a new project a new coin that is just going to be launched soon so um for you to add it for you to add the coin once we launch for you to see it inside your token pocket wallet once we launch so you click this plus sign here this plus sign here you click on it so when you click on the uh, plus sign you can see all the other tokens available you can see them or if you can't see you can always type the symbol or the symbol or the contract here to search for it so now once you search for it it will pop up now so, since we're not we we're still gonna be new after launch so you're going to click on this custom token option here so when you click on the custom token option here you click on it so you'll be expected to enter the token contract we will, of course we will release our token contract after launch so you enter the contract contract address here for our token then you enter the token symbol we'll also be releasing we'll be releasing the token contract symbol and then token decimal so these are the three informations you need to import our token into your token pocket wallet or your trust wallet whichever one you use so you copy the token contract paste here then you the token symbol you paste it here the token decimal which is usually 18 you paste it here and then after pasting you click on save when you click on save then you will go back to your wallet to see that normally if, once i do the, those stuffs the token will, will appear here will appear here just like bnb usdc usdc have appeared the token will appear here and then you can send you can receive and then you can also uh, swap on pancake swap once we are listed there so yeah this is it with sending receiving and then adding a token to your token pocket wallet i think it's actually very easy so after watching this video if you have any question do not hesitate to ask so um the next video i'm actually going to be doing uh for those who want to fund their trust wallet or token pocket wallet so um i'm going to be uh doing a video on how you can do your p2p i'm going to be using bitgate so i'm going to do a video on how you can buy um buy usdt via bitgate p2p then convert to bnb send to your trust wallet or token pocket wallet and then i think that's it then the next thing i'm going to do is to teach you how you can actually uh, swap how you can swap on pancake swap yeah so um Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask. Thank you and bye.